And as we begin with the controversial fight over Michigan's election results, this new video just in from the White House. Two of Michigan's top Republican lawmakers arriving to meet with President Trump. Many are calling this a desperate attempt by the president to overturn the election results that showed Joe Biden beating him by more than 150,000 votes. Thank you for joining us this Friday afternoon. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. This is being called unprecedented. So here is the very latest. State Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky and State House Speaker Lee Chatfield accepting the president's invitation to the White House. Both men were greeted by protesters this morning when they arrived at Detroit Metro Airport for the flight to Washington, D.C. This afternoon, Chatfield tweeted that he refuses to apologize for taking a meeting with the president and said that he is honored to meet and speak with President Trump. This as Monica Palmer held a press conference this afternoon to address her recent affidavit. Palmer is one of the Republican members of the Wayne County Board of Canvassers who wants to rescind her decision to certify county election results. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig standing by with more on Palmer's press conference. And our Joe St. George is outside the White House. But we begin with 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner live at Detroit Metro Airport to break down what's really at stake. Jim. Glenda and Dave, the stakes are very, very high. The president and the White House take the position that this election is not over, including here in Michigan. When the Republican Senate Majority Leader left from Metro Airport this morning, he did not get out of town quietly. What did Trump promise you? Where's the fraud? Where's the evidence of fraud? A group formed here in Metro Detroit called Fems for Dems got up early this morning to make sure this meeting did not happen without scrutiny. Not much is being said about what's being discussed behind closed doors. There's been multiple pieces of litigation filed across the country by various uh, individuals, the campaign and others. I will leave it to the campaign to make those determinations um, as to how to proceed. But the president's been very clear. He wants every legal vote to be counted uh, and to make sure no illegal votes are counted. The Republican Speaker of the House, Lee Chatfield, tweeted during the noon hour, no matter the party, when you have an opportunity to meet the president, of course you take it. I won't apologize for that. I look forward to our conversation. Some are calling this an astounding new strategy to stop the Michigan vote from being certified with Biden. The winner. This is not an advocacy meeting. There will be no one from the campaign there. Uh, he routinely meets with lawmakers from all across the country. Another scenario is have the Michigan legislature, controlled by Republicans, declare the vote has a defect and replace Michigan's 16 Democratic Electoral College electors with Republicans, giving Trump the Michigan victory. There's an entire constitutional process of electors casting their ballots, and I will leave that to the president. Now, the Michigan statewide vote is set to be certified on Monday. Those Republican legislative leaders would have to come back here and meet caucus with their fellow members to determine if they have enough votes to do anything. The Fems for Dems who were here and in D.C. were formed here in Metro Detroit. They say this is more than just party politics. We're going to have their story for you next hour at 6. Live at Metro Airport, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Another interesting, uh, wild day, Jim. Thank you for the live report. Linda? All right, Dave, and that meeting in Washington today is being called unprecedented. Our Joe St. George is in Washington, D.C. at the White House with a deeper look at why the eyes of the nation are on this meeting. Many Michigan politicos are puzzled by today's meeting between the President of the United States and Michigan Speaker of the House and Michigan Senate Majority Leader. And that is true here in Washington as well. After all, President-elect Biden holds a more than 150,000 vote lead in Michigan. And both Michigan lawmakers have said they will honor their state's popular vote and not stray from the traditional electoral college process. But reaching out to state lawmakers around the country who supported President Trump in the campaign is really the next logical step for the White House. After all, they have suffered major losses in courts in Pennsylvania, Arizona, and Georgia. The courts so far aren't cooperating. The thinking goes that perhaps lawmakers who voted for Trump will cooperate. Now, Michigan isn't the only state legislature being targeted by President Trump in his campaign. A new lawsuit is also hoping that the Pennsylvania state legislature will pick the winner in that state and not the voters. But make no mistake about it, when the President of the United States 
summons you to the Oval Office, especially if you are just a state lawmaker, it can be an intimidating experience. As for what greeted the Speaker of the House in Michigan and the Senate Majority Leader here today, this truck was on Constitution Avenue saying the election in Michigan is over. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George reporting.